Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Affinity Designer to add a cut contour line for Roll and Versaworks. So now Affinity is really attractive to a lot of people because it is not a subscription software. It is a one-time paid fee. It's about $55 and you are able to add that cut contour line that we need uh, for Versaworks so that the Roland knows where to cut, um, which you can add in other programs and I have uh, I have videos and blog posts on how to do that in things like Adobe, but those are subscription programs. So Affinity Designer is really attractive for that reason. So I'm gonna show you how to use um, Affinity. First, we're gonna create the cut contour um, palette color in Affinity so it stays there and it's always there. And then the second part, I will show you how to actually add it to um, a design. So let's. Uh, first, make sure that you have Affinity. Um, I'm gonna throw a link up top here so you can grab it. You're just gonna get the license key, install it, and it's like a five minute process before you're up and running with Affinity. Then I want you to meet me over in Affinity. We will launch the program. Now, in the program, it, you in order to add the con contour line, you actually need to have a file open, okay? So the first time I did this, I didn't have all of the options until I realized it was because I didn't have a design. So just open anything. I'm just gonna pick something that I have on the top of my, com my the, on my computer here. This, this will work fine. Um, not saying anything about myself or you, but just you wanna have something open there, okay? And then from the main menu, you're going to go to uh, view, all right? From view, you're gonna click studio, and then you're gonna scroll down and click swatches. So you see how swatches does not have a check mark? We wanna click check, we wanna quick click swatches. And now over here in the right panel, we have the swatches, all right? So it, it'll default to gray. I like to switch it to colors just for my own because I like color. Um, and then up here where you've got the three or four little hamburger menu, you're gonna click on that and you're gonna click add global color, okay? So this is where we're gonna add the contour line, all right? So what we're doing right now is we're gonna set the line. Everything needs to be on zero, okay, except magenta. Magenta you want to be 100. So a roll in Versaworks recognizes this one color as the contour line. And so we wanna make it that color. Now, we also need to name this swatch. So this is very important. It has to be named exactly um, correctly or else uh, Versaworks won't pick it up as the cut line. So we need to call it cut contour, all uh, one word, no space in between cut or contour, and then check the box for spot and then click add. So what you have here is now you have created this cut contour line, the correct magenta color, the correct name. However, all it is is in this document. So this won't be here as it is now if we go a week from now and you know open another document and want to add the cut contour line. So we need to take a couple of more couple more steps. So first thing we want to do, go back up to that hamburger menu and click um, rename palette. So we're gonna call this palette something like VW uh, Rolling Cut Contour Line. All right, just as a reminder, because what is going to happen is it's eventually going to show up up here. It's gonna say grays, colors, gradients, I have an unnamed one, and then we're gonna have a Roland, a Roland line, okay? so that And that's what we want. The second thing that we need to do is we need to export this, this palette and then re-import it so that it shows up in our system, um, in our app here, instead of just in the document. So back at that hamburger menu, we're gonna click um, export palette, okay? It's going to, you see here, this is the name that we called it, VW Roll and Cut Contour Line. That's the same as what you have here. Um, mine's gonna go into downloads and I'm gonna click save. Now immediately, so I'll just show you very quickly, it's on my um, desktop, all right? So I have a couple of them because I've done this a few times, but this is the one that we just saved. So this is on, on my downloads, okay? So I'm gonna go back here now again to that hamburger menu and do import palette. And you have a couple of options here. Document is where it is now, we don't want that. System is our entire computer, not really necessary. We want application palette. So import palette as application palette. You're gonna click that, and then you're gonna navigate to the file that you just had, 
that you just exported. So you can see only a couple of them for me are um, even available. They all say AF palette after them, all right? And I only have four because I've done this a couple of times uh, for this video, okay? So now we have this, um, our cut contour line is in Affinity, it's saved. This part of the video, you only have to do this very first time. Now that we have the cut contour line saved in um, our software, we don't have to do it um, time and time again. So this is now gonna transition into basically part two, which is how to use that color to create cut lines, contour cut lines that you can then export and use in VersaWorks and VersaWorks will recognize it as a cut line. All right, so what you would do there, I'm just gonna close out Affinity and restart it so that you can kind of see as if you were starting a new session, okay? So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna restart Affinity. Let me find Affinity here to launch it. Okay, and now if I go, um, I'm gonna do File, and I'm gonna do File Open, and I'm gonna find a file on my desktop, okay? So um, let's just do it so we can see a little bit easier. So Affinity can import a lot of different file types, but I'm gonna use um, this one here that's called Be Kind, it's an SVG file, all right? So I will open that, it's gonna open in Affinity. Now this one has um, an offset cut line, but it doesn't necessarily have to, to create the contour. You could have the contour cut be right up against your image if you want it, all right? I'm gonna select all of my offsets here so that I can apply the contour cut line at, in one, and I'm gonna group them. You see how all that blue area is now gonna be grouped, okay? Then I'm gonna go to stroke. Now, stroke will open probably on in the color menu. We wanna go to swatches, and remember how now how I said before, we were gonna have grays, colors, gradients, and here's our Roland, okay? So we're gonna, if you hover over it, you'll see it's called cut contour. That's exactly what you want. So you're gonna click that, and all of those cut lines have now been recolored to that cut contour color that we need, all right? If you wanna change the, the width of it, you can. The point, you know, I'm gonna put it down to 0.3. Um, Okay, you can see now it's 0.3. Okay, now we are ready to export this. So we can go to File. You do not wanna to go to File Save. You wanna to go to File Export. You're gonna have a lot of different options, but as you probably know, VersaWorks really likes PDF, so we're gonna export as a PDF. Okay, and I'm gonna call it uh, Tutorial, so we know, because again, I've done this a few times, so I just wanna make sure that you can see um, that I'm using the exact same file. So now that file, is on my desktop, okay, or downloads, wherever it was that I put it, tutorial right here. It's a PDF. Now, I'm working here on a Mac, and VersaWorks cannot work on a Mac, unfortunately for me and many other Mac users. So, I have to take another step, and what I do is I put it onto my Google Drive, and then I go to my PC, where I also have Google Drive, and I download the file from there. Once it's on my, my um, desktop on my PC, I then go and I can import it into a queue in VersaWorks. So I will meet you over there for that part of the tutorial. Okay, so we are now in VersaWorks and now we can import that PDF file that we um, exported from Affinity. So we're just gonna go to File, Add to Queue, whoops, and I will add that file to my queue. So here it is, you can see it says Tutorial. That's the one that we exported, and I'll click open, and it'll just take a minute, and it will end up, here it is already, down at the very bottom of my queue, okay? Now, this is really important. So, um, right up here, where it says special items, it has an A. A is indicating that it has cut lines, okay? It has some special items, and I don't know what A stands for, to be completely honest for you, but I know that it means that it recognizes um, the cut line. So then I'm just gonna go here to settings, um, whoops. And I will show you the dancing ants that it has. See that? All of the, let's see if I can uh, make this a little bit larger so you guys can see. 
So all of those cut lines that we added in Affinity, because we added it with that special cut contour line, it is now recognized in VersaWorks as a cut line. And you know those dancing amp, ants, that's what you need if you want Roland, um, the BN20 or BN20A to know exactly where to cut. So with all of that being said, if you are using Affinity, you can definitely and pretty easily add contour cut lines for your files that you want to cut and print and cut on your Roland BN20s. So just those very important, um, those two very important steps. And again, everything that I described in the first half of the video with all that importing and exporting and making the contour cut, that only has to be done one time. Now, every time you bring something into Affinity, you'll be able to just go to the uh, spot color and, and select it because you've already created that palette. All right, you guys, I hope you learned a little something in this video. If you're interested in Affinity, if you're interested in any other software programs, I have a lot of different tutorials. You can find them. Um, at the top and I have lots of rolling videos again if you're interested in that and I hope to see you around.